Sometimes when we're building a first class document that's going to be a web page, we need to include information that's not really part of the first class environment. For example, sometimes we've built things out in the web that we want to embed into our page. For example, here I am on YouTube. I've got a video I'd like to embed in my, in my web page. On almost every web 2.0 site, places like Google, Google or, uh, or YouTube or wikis and blogs, you're going to find something called an embed code. If we look at it right here on YouTube, it's this button called embed. If I click it, it gives me this little window full of just horrifying looking HTML code. I'm going to copy, copy that, go back to first class, and just blindly, without really trying to understand what it means, paste it in. And if I look at this, it is not understandable to the average human. I'm just going to select it, and then I'm going to right click on it and choose Format Text. Format text gives me all sorts of options, bold, underline, italic. I don't care about those. Remember how I said this was really ugly HTML? We want to check the literal HTML box, okay? You can see that this becomes kind of a programming code looking font right there. I'm going to put that in, and we don't see the video right now. We just see that the HTML is in a slightly different font. Remember that every web page is a front and a back. The front is what you see through your web browser. The back is what you see when you're building it. Right now, we're building this in the first class client. I'm going to save and close this and go back to my web browser. And I'm going to refresh my page. And in here, I now have my embedded video. Anything that has an embed link, you can do the same thing. Paste that embed code in there and mark it as literal HTML. 